Guess what, everybody? It's March 13th, 2016. Picture it. This, this is what I imagine a lot of the people that are watching this video are going through. Imagine it. It's your boss comes over to your cubicle. Maybe you've got an office. Maybe you've got a window office. Good for you. Either way, somebody comes downstairs and says, Hey, Denise, Denise, are you going to run the March Madness bracket pool this year? I got a feeling Virginia's going to win it all. And oh yeah, that company that we bought out, you know, the one in Texas? Yeah, there's going to be like 300 people that are going to be entering the tournament that week. I need you to run that, okay? Okay, boss. Whatever you say. Yep. Well, if you have to run one of these tournaments where you have people filling out brackets with paper, or maybe you're going to send them an email with this Excel file, that's what I would do. Uh, rather than contemplating suicide after week one, when you have to score 300 of these brackets and make sure that your arithmetic is correct with upset bonus points and different round scoring and all the messes that go along with this, instead of having you hate your life, well, I've got your problem solved. I've been doing it for, I don't know, a lot of years, more than you can count on one hand, and it's been out to thousands, tens of thousands of people by now, um, celebrities. I, you wouldn't believe the emails that I have gotten about this thing, and um, we're doing it again because it's 2016. So let's go. Okay, so once you download the file, the link in the uh, description shown below. What you're gonna see is you're gonna see this yellow bar pop up here. It says uh, enable editing. You're gonna wanna click this. You're just looking at an image right now, but you're gonna wanna click that so that you're gonna be able to make updates and save the file and do everything you need to do in the file. And this is what the blank bracket is looking like here in 2016. So this is gonna be the file that you're gonna send out to all your entrants. And you have a lot of flexibility and availability to change things in here, but it is protected right now. And the reason I've protected it, and the way you can unprotect it, is by clicking on Review and Unprotect Sheet. I've protected both of the sheets that are in here, the uh, bracket and the custom team name sheet. You can just go to Review and Unprotect. There's no password on it, but uh, it's nice to protect it so that people can't go in and change things in here and screw up your results. But that is how you do it if you want to be able to open it up and touch cells that are, are locked. So what do you do? Well, you type in your name up here in the entry box, and then it's pretty straightforward. They're all just drop-down menus that are going to give you the opportunity to pick either of the teams that are playing in the game. So Virginia versus Hampton, click that little arrow right here. You can also press uh, Alt and the down arrow on your keyboard. Alt and the down arrow will also show the names. Click here, click your team, and you've chosen Virginia for this game. Uh, the play-in games are in yellow. Those cells are unlocked so that your entrants can pick them. The 16th, seed, the 16th seed in the West, either Holy Cross or Southern, can pick there. The other play-in games over in the South, the 11th seed is either Vanderbilt or Wichita State. Uh, then the two play-in games in the East are the 11th seed, Michigan or Tulsa, or the 16th seed, Florida Gulf, Gulf Coast or Fairleigh Dickinson. So... Let's not fill in this entire thing right now. I have a version that's already filled in right now to show you what it looks like when it's completely filled out. A uh, couple things to note. Sometimes the people have been confused in the past. These cells here, this is going to be picking your winner between the West and the Midwest game. So it's kind of like the top and the bottom are playing each other on each side. Top and the bottom on the right and left. South and East are playing here. And this is where you pick the winner of the South and the East. And then the winner of the championship goes here. Uh, you can also, as a tiebreaker, type in the total points of the final game uh, just right over that cell, and you can use that in the tiebreaker in your scoring scenario if that's the tiebreaker that you want to use. So that's the cell for that. So after this thing is completely filled out, then you're, uh, you're going to get a bunch of results here, and these are going to be copied and thrown into the master bracket, which will be a separate video. And want to combine videos so um, we'll do a whole video on the master brackets and the different types of master bracket scoring scenarios but the way to choose that range is just up here it's called the, uh, the apex range i believe apex apex when you highlight this it's going to highlight the entire area and you're going to end up copying this whole range copy this area and paste it into the master bracket so that you can stack all of your entrants and have hundreds or even thousands of entrants in a tournament 
and it'll do all the scoring automatically for you, which is what this whole thing is designed for, to save you from pulling your hair out on a Monday morning trying to score round two upset points in your bracket because that will make you want to shoot yourself ahead. So uh, that's the basics for this entry bracket. There's a custom team name sheet. I'm going to show you kind of how that works in, in this sample bracket here. So custom team name sheet, this is locked with the, the only area you can change is the area in yellow. And the reason why the custom team names are exactly the same as the master team names is because I like those names that I've chosen, just the name of the school. But you can do something and say, hey, I want to show a little bit more information in my bracket about what team this is. So I want to say, okay, Virginia and Virginia was, you know, 26 and 4. I don't know what the record was. I'm guessing. But you could, you could make alterations to the team name right here, and that's going to filter right back in to your bracket. And as you can see up here, Virginia is now called Virginia 26 and 4, and this drop down area is going to change as well to Virginia 26 and 4. So you would do that at the beginning if you want to change custom team names for your tournament. This is where you do it in the custom team's name sheet. Um, any other things to watch out for? Uh, this Excel is a great program, but it is a little silly, a little stupid sometimes. So if you do something like this and you have, you know, a winner being Texas Tech, and then you go back and you say, no, 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 I want Butler. This is not going to change automatically for you. And so it's essentially going to be an error in its pick. Uh, you know, one of these don't agree with each other. So it's something to watch out for. It's, it's an area where a user can create user error, but hey, you know, tough. Uh, <laughs> you got to learn sometimes to, uh, to make sure that your bracket makes sense. So I think those are the basics. There will be a master bracket uh, video coming out very soon. I'm getting on that next. And if you have any questions, you can email me, ken at kenstalk.com. And um, download links are below and happy bracketing. I'm very, very busy. This is about the busiest time of the year for me. And I'm going to be sending hundreds and hundreds of emails in the next 24 hours. So Ken's talk is out.